Today we're going to be checking out the pinnacle of digital night vision performance with the ADNV G14 P2. We'll do a rundown on the basic specs and features and then compare it to the G14 SE, the Cyanix Opsin, and a Gen 2 Plus PS14 so you can see just how far digital night vision has come. But before we go any further, I want to disclose that Goodnight Gear is my website and we are the first US retailer to offer ADNV's products, but I always strive to give you guys a fair and honest review and if you want to support my channel and the work that I do, you can use the discount code US10 to save 10% if you do decide to pick up this device or any other digital night vision product from Goodnight Gear. Let's do a quick rundown on the device itself. And the body is mostly a hard polymer and it's IP67 rated, but it does feel very high quality and similar to the Opsin. On the front, we've got the objective lens, which you can rotate to adjust the focus. And inside there's a one inch second generation high performance COMOS solid state image sensor, which is a step up from the two thirds sensor on the SE. Beneath that, there is an onboard 940 IR illuminator. There's a small port here, which will allow you to connect to the ADNV RS2 digital recording box. The current configuration supports a 16340 battery, but they also include an extended battery cap, which will allow you to run a larger 18650, which will dramatically improve the runtime. On the side, we've got a PVS14 style threaded hole for the mount. And on the other side, we've got the power and control knob and the eyepiece and inside we've got a 800 by 600 OLED display. The display is very close to the lens so the experience that you get is very immersive and on the display you'll see the battery life and the frames per second on the top right and then you can adjust the display brightness variably using the control knob. You can also turn on and off the IR light, adjust the luminance and the display brightness, swap between 150 frames per second, take photos and videos and adjust the contrast and also the sharpness. The out of the box mounting options are pretty impressive on this unit and it comes with an ultralight aluminum alloy dovetail compatible bridge so you can mount them over the right eye or the left eye and there's two different style mounting arms which will help you mount the monocular in different configurations and at the moment it's connected to an L4 mount which is attached to a fast helmet. It's a flip up style mount so you can easily move them up and out of the way and it's very easy to get this into a comfortable viewing position and overall it's the nicest mounting hardware that I've seen included with the purchase of any digital night vision monocular and you can even bridge two of these together using the included mounting hardware as well. Now we're going to jump in and check out some testing footage and the video was recorded using the ADNV RS2 video recorder, which is an add-on accessory that can be purchased separately. The device is running at 100 frames per second and the quality of the image is incredibly crisp and the focal range is quite wide. So you're able to make out a lot of very sharp detail at different ranges without having to adjust the focus all that often. The field of view is 30 degrees high by 40 degrees wide, which does deliver a very immersive experience. And whether you're running at 100 frames per second or 50 frames per second, you're gonna be able to navigate much more confidently with this device compared to others with more condensed fields of view and slower frame rates. This is a side-by-side -side view showing the P2 up against the G14 SE. And again, we're comparing a one inch sensor to a two thirds inch sensor. And they're both very good and quite similar in many ways, including the field of view and the image clarity, but you are gonna be able to amplify the light quite a lot better with the P2. So it's gonna be the best choice for darker environments where you wanna avoid running supplemental IR lighting. But there is a more in-depth review on the G14 SE, which is linked down below. And that's a much more affordably priced and very impressive unit. Here's a side-by-side -side view of the Psyonix Opsin, which was the best performing digital night vision option on the market until ADNV stepped up with the SE and the P2. And a few weeks ago, I did do an in-depth comparison between the G14 SE and the Opsin, which I'll link to down below. The Opsin does have the advantage of color viewing mode, which provides a nice contrast in certain environments where there's plenty of light, but it definitely struggles to amplify existing light, and both the G14 SE and the P2 are far superior in this department. The Opsin also struggles in mixed lighting, so the P2 would be a superior choice if there's a chance that you'll find yourself in urban environments or indoor settings. The P2 also offers a faster frame rate, a wider and taller field of view, bridging capabilities, and it's a much more lightweight package all around. Now we're looking at a side-by-side -side comparison of the P2 with a Gen 2 Plus white phosphor PVS14. And this was recorded with my Google Pixel smartphone, which caused that pink glare to reflect off the lens. But you can see here that the field of view is pretty similar and the low light amplification is better on the P2 and it's close in performance to a Gen 3 analog. There are certain advantages to analog like better battery life and zero latency, but with digital, 
you can more easily balance mixed lighting environments and you don't have to worry about damaging the tubes when exposing them to light. This is a comparison photo showing how the P2 compares to a bunch of different digital night vision devices, including the G14SE, the Opsin, the MVG30, and a handful of lower end devices. And there's also a photo from a Gen 2 Plus white phosphor analog tube. And we're gonna reduce the amount of light so you can see just how impressive the performance of the P2 is. And at the moment, we've lost image on most of the digital units, and the P2 is outperforming every device here, including the PVS14. So you can really see just how good the low light performance is with this sensor. This photo was from a tier list video I published a few months ago, and if you wanna check out some other budget-friendly night vision monoculars and see how they compare, that's a good video to check out. Overall, the performance from the ADNV G14 P2 is exceptional, and there's no question it's the best digital night vision device on the market. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest in digital night vision as we're gearing up to check out a lot of awesome ADNV digital night vision thermal fusion units and you can also learn more about them on the Good Night Gear website. As always feel free to leave your questions and comments down below and I'll do my best to help out when I can.